Well, welcome back to the cafe. Soon we will be heading back to the Mastercraft kitchen to see how to make Casey and Karina's clam and pork dishes. Well, the school holidays are almost upon us. Some schools are already out already. Uh, let's face it, they do tend to stretch out somewhat over Christmas. So if you're looking for something adventurous to do with the kids, our travel writer Debbie has some great ideas. Morning, Debbie. Morning. Well, our recent family holiday was all about pushing outside our comfort zone because we're a bit scaredy cat in, in hearts, re really. So we went to Rotorua and we started at at Agro Ventures, which is just outside the CBD in Paradise Valley. Oh, so what have they got there? Well, they have five really unique adventure experiences. So I particularly wanted to try out the Schweeb. Have you heard of it? No, the what? The Schweeb? The Schweeb. It okay. is a world first, so have a look. It is a monorail, and you go as fast as you like. It's a pedal power, so you can see the kids there can go as fast or as slow as they want. They're actually racing at the moment, so really good fun there. Oh, that's me, about to get overtaken by husband. There he goes. Really great fun on that track. And we also tried the Agro Jet when we were there as well. So as you can see, it is the fastest and only jet sprint experience in New Zealand. The course is small. Yeah, <laughs> screaming. <laughs> Sounds familiar. Definitely having a scream. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you get all those thrills because the course is so short. You get all those thrills without the boring bits. Uh, only water's only about a knee deep in places as well. And now this is the swoop. So husband tried that out. <laughs> no more screaming from me. Um, it starts 40 metres high. Let yourself go, you drop, sweep 130 k's an hour down to about a metre and a half off the ground. Brilliant time. Oh, so that's three things. Yeah. So they had five things there. Yeah, that's right. It's in the southern hemisphere, it's the only outdoor wind tunnel that's there at Agro Ventures. And they also have a bungee as well, which is 43 metres high. So go and check that out. We've saved that for next time. Wow. <laughs> um, I saw from your Instagram though, I like to follow you on Instagram and see all your amazing shots, that you went zip lining as well. Yeah, yeah, we did. We tried out the three hour guided tour with Chris and Alex from Rotorua Canopy Adventures. So we got all harnessed up and we walked through untouched native forest. We got to meet a friendly robin. Don't blink, you'll miss it. Here it comes. Whoa. There he goes. Wasn't that cool? <laughs> so really great for the kids. Sweet. Now this Hello. is the zip lining. A real challenge for all of us, in particular the eight-year-old. So you can see the guides really helped him through those first few. And really, what better way to experience the forest than flying straight through it? It's really great fun. And the highest platform, 22 metres off the ground. The longest zip line was 220 metres. And there are six different zip lines. So you gather up your confidence as you go. You get more and more confident. By the end of it, eight-year-old wanted to go by himself. He was really confident, so that was a proud mama moment. So. Oh, it looks incredible. Yeah. Did you say untouched native forest? Yeah, yeah, and Rotorua Canopy Tours actually takes a really active interest in the pest eradication in that area. There goes eight-year-old, he's so good. And uh, part of your price that you pay for your ticket actually goes directly to the conservation of that forest as well. So they do a great job there. And we learned heaps about pest eradication and protection of our native forest, so really good education for the oh, kids as well. Looks Same so time. fun. Um, I heard a rumour too that you got stuffed inside a giant inflatable ball and pushed down a hill. Yeah, I did, yeah. Rotorua Ogo. So it, it was invented by two guys who literally wanted to walk on water and I got to meet one of them when I was there, Andrew. He told me all about it. So what they've done is they had Zorb and now they run Ogo. It's on a beautiful hill as you can see overlooking the lake. I did H2 Ogo, so there it is. They put water inside, it was warm water in winter, it's cold water in the summer, and then you just ride it on down the hill. Wow, that looks fantastic. Yeah. And you didn't get too cold then? No, no, I didn't. And you know, a lot of people think you're going to get thrown around inside the ball as well, but you don't. You just ride the water down, you stay in the same place just riding it. And the dimples on the inside of the Ogo, they didn't put this in the brochure, gives you a nice wee massage as you're going down. So it kind of feels like being on a super, super water slide or something as you go down. And they have a spa pool at the bottom and at the top so you won't get wet. So a lot of people did combos, so doing the straight down course and the sidewinder course as well. Oh, that so. sounds fantastic. So yeah. many good things to see. So just finally, where should we stay in Rotorua? We really enjoyed the Novotel. It's right in a great location near Eat Street on the water's edge as well. So you can look out over the lake. It's a beautiful place to stay. Fantastic. Great travel tips. Thank you so much, Debbie. Uh, if you want to know more or get more ideas for activities, food or accommodation, go to Destination Rotorua website. Holly, now over to you.